What's up guys? Tony Rican here and it's been really chilly out, fighting a little bit of cold, so I thought it was the perfect time to throw down with a cool little stew. I'm going to be making a Guinness beef stew. You know exactly what this is, don't you? That's right. This is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. I want to start by thanking all of my patrons of $5 or more. So thank you Steve, Courtney, Ken, Dennis, and Uncle Carl from Twin Moons Tavern. If you guys haven't checked out Twin Moons Tavern yet, be sure to stop over at Uncle Carl's uh, YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and drop a link down below between his and mine. You guys will never be hungry because we've got some great recipes. Speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and start with this Guinness beef stew. For this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my beef, I'm going to salt and pepper it. And while, that, uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to heat up a little bit of oil, then we'll start browning it. Once my beef was cooked, I run ahead and removed it from the oil. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice some garlic and some onion and let that saute in that oil for a couple of minutes. After a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and place in my chopped bacon and let that cook until it's browned. Once that bacon starts to brown a little, I'm going to go ahead and add in my flour. After about a minute, I'm going to go ahead and add my Guinness. I'm going to mix it all together, make sure everything's nice and combined before I move on. Now I made sure I stirred until I got everything off the bottom of my uh, pot there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my coffee, my tomato paste, chicken stock, my carrots, some thyme, and some crushed bay leaves. Add my beef back in. Then I'm going to go ahead, bring this to a simmer, cover it, and let it go on low for about an hour and a half. After it's gone for about an hour and a half, I'm going to go ahead, put my potatoes in, recover it, let it go for about another 35, 40 minutes, and this one is done. And with that, this one is done. Just take a look at how it came out. It looks awesome. My stew is nice and thick. My potatoes are nice and tender. Everything looks great, but you know, we can't just look at this. I just got to go ahead, dig in and give this one a try. This is freaking amazing. You guys are going to love this one. So go ahead, like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete step-by-step printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Go over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even $1 to help this content keep rolling out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get awesome recipes every Monday and every Friday. Give this one a try and we'll see you guys next time.